Hello, my name is Keith Rupnick. I'm with the International Association of IT Asset Managers, and this is an introduction to the course Certified Software Asset Manager, or CSAM. This course will discuss the foundation for managing your software assets. It will gain knowledge in ever-changing variables uh, within this field and best practices in software asset management. The when and the why is also extremely important, and you'll learn that as well. Now, this course was created by the International Association of IT Asset Managers. Founded in 2002, we are recognized worldwide as the industry leader in certification for asset managers. We learn from our own attendees and our members and create best practices of which you'll learn in this course. You'll learn how to clearly identify goals and how to quantify success, gain awareness of existing software regulations, importance of adhering to those regulations and how those regulations can affect every aspect, current and future for the business, and the important steps necessary to achieve a proactive stance. Furthermore, you'll also learn um, about a profession that is new and upcoming. IT asset management is newer than IT itself. It started somewhere in the late 1990s, or early 2000s, and is an excellent career path for anyone in IT or any business associated job right now. IT is being outsourced more and more to the cloud, as you may have heard. This is a logical career path for anyone with some technology knowledge and experience, and also knowledge and experience on the business. It's exciting because you get to learn about the workings of your entire organization and become a critical part to that organization. Results of this taking the course, you'll be able to apply some of the best practices known to the world for IT asset management. Practices leading to sustainable software asset management programs, maximizing the value for the, your company when it comes to its investment in IT. And then execute the next steps to evaluate success within the organization. Course prerequisites, minimum to no experience in the field of software asset management. You could actually be an entry level person in your own organization or maybe perhaps looking for a job or a career change. I have trained and educated people over the past six years throughout the world and their experience was from just out of uh, an education environment such as a college to maybe five to ten years of experience in this field. Again, these are best practices and a great way to either start a new career or confirm that you're on the right career path and making your skills much more marketable if needed to change jobs. ITEM is the registered trademark of the International Association of Information Technology Asset Managers Incorporated, also pronounced ITAM. Certified Software Asset Manager is a certification offered exclusive three, exclusively through ITAM. Module topics that you will, will see during this course are IT asset management as a profession. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very young profession, yet there are still many organizations out there now requiring IT asset management and specifically CSAM as a certification for consideration for jobs. Advocating your IT asset management program, which talks about how you promote not only your own skill set, but promote the program that you're working on. Compliance management was extremely critical for software, complicated yet a lot of fun, and creating a compliance management approach, which is how do we get to where we need to be in order to know that we're using software. If you think about it, software is a major expense in companies worldwide, regardless of size, from 20 employees all the way to the largest organizations. The association has trained, certified people in all of those organizations, and once again, best practices have come out of there and been confirmed based on what we've created. Proactive versus reactive software asset management. The majority of organizations out there are, if you look at a scale of one to five, or probably on a one to two rating, very, very immature in their attempt at managing software. This field is exploding right now and is a great opportunity for a career path to, to move yourself up the ladder within the organization. License management. So we call it software asset management, but you can also argue that it's about managing licenses, that also another asset for the organization. And then automation, which is extremely important for software asset management. So let's continue to discuss or describe some of the modules or topics of modules within this course. Software acquisition best practices which is the actual software acquisition process itself. Extremely important when it comes to managing software. 
if you're a person that's in the financial realm or you have some financial experience, this would be extremely interesting to you. You think about how much software is purchased in an organization, the majority of people doing that procurement have very little knowledge of what needs to be done in terms of negotiating the appropriate contract. And this is why we'd also discuss how to negotiate your purchases for software. Even if you can't negotiate, there's still a lot of information in, this mod in these modules to help you better understand how to manage your software. If you have some legal experience, there are certainly terms and conditions that need to be included in these purchasing contracts so that it, it will govern the rest of the asset management program and how you should manage your software. Artifacts for IT assets, documentation for example, is extremely important and in some instances you can argue as an asset unto itself with its own lifespan. Now if you have any experience with document management, this is, would be a very good module for you just because you'll have a better understanding of the requirements. Many of the asset managers out there really could use help from IT people in understanding how to support their initiatives in the asset management. Vendor management, so if you work for an organization or actually a part of that vendor management department, managing vendors at the generic level is certainly valuable to an organization. Now we throw in technology and specifically software where vendor management becomes exceedingly important so that we have the proper relationships and the proper contracts. And how to manage those vendors from a hardware asset standpoint. After all, software lives on the hardware, right? So you have to learn how to deal with the hardware asset manager and the impact it has on the actual software. And then introduction to project management. Although this is a very basic introduction for you project managers, a common concern by asset managers is that the project manager doesn't understand the problem domain, meaning IT asset management. And it could help and assist the IT, ITAM program significantly if project managers with PMI certifications out there or other certifications could actually work and understand this problem domain. The course material tabs, you will get the CSAM course manual which is a reading material for you and more detailed information. There is a CSAM student guide, which is an overview of the materials covered in the course. And then at the end, there will be, at, at the end of some modules, you'll have quizzes or exercises uh, to help you better understand the, the topics of this course. There will be an online quiz in the video tab as well. So let's get started on this interesting brand new career for you or just trying to sharpen your skills as, as already managing software asset. It's a very, very up and coming uh, profession, one that is significantly important to organizations worldwide and is growing by leaps and bounds starting today.